Good day everyone! Today we're going to study properties of multiplication. Children need food to grow. They must eat healthy food. Fruits are good for growing children. Gino has three small baskets of apples, and each basket has four apples. On the other hand, Rafael has four baskets, and each basket has three apples. The question is, who has more apples? Let's count the number of apples of Gino and Rafael using the multiplication sentence. Let's go for Gino. Let's write the, the number at the first factor. Remember, the first factor is the number of groups. So we have... Very good! 3. Let's look at the second factor. The second factor is the number of objects in each group. So how many apples do we have on each basket? Very good! We have 4. So let's count the total number of apples. So Gino has 12 apples. Very good. So let's go to Raphael. Using the multiplication sentence, let's count how many apples does Raphael have. So let's write the first factor, the number of groups we have. That's correct, it's 4. How about the second factor? How many objects in each group? Good job! We have 3 apples. Then let's count the total number of apples. That is 12. Very good, children. So notice that the product of 3 times 4 is the same as the product of 4 times 3. Both give an answer of 12. This fact illustrates the commutative property of multiplication. This property states that the order of the factors does not affect the product. So that 3 times 4 is equal to 4 times 3. Again, this is commutative property of multiplication. How about if we have this? Let's write the multiplication sentence of this illustration. Let's write the first factor, the number of groups we have. That's correct, it's 4. How about the second factor, number of objects in each group we have? Good job, it's 5. Then let's count the total number of objects we have. Good job children, it's 20. So we have here 4 times 5 is equal to 20. How about if I have this? Let's write the multiplication sentence of this illustration. What is the number of group? Very good, that's 5. How about the number of objects in each group? We have... Good job, it's 4. Let's count the total number of objects. We have... Fantastic! It's 20! So again, children, 4 times 5 is equal to 5 times 4 because their products are the same. So this is what we call the commutative property. Even though order of the factor interchange, their product will remain the same. So 4 times 5 is equal to 5 times 4. How about if we have this? Let's write the multiplication sentence. The first factor, number of groups, we have. That's correct, it's 3. How about the second factor, number of objects in each group, we have. Good job, it's 2. How about the total number of objects, we have. Fantastic, it's 6. So how about if we have this? Let's write the multiplication sentence. The first factor will be 2. How about the second factor? How many objects do we have in each group? Fantastic! It's 3. How about the total number of objects we have? 
package half it's six so as you can see three times two is the same as the product of two times three both give answer of six so again children this is what we call the commutative property of multiplication so it states that the order of the factors does not affect the product so three times two 2 is equal to 2 times 3. They are both equals to 6. Always remember, commutative property, changing the order of position of the factors does not affect the product. Always remember, commutative property, changing the order or the position of the factors does not affect the product. Just like this, 6 times 3 is equal to 18, then 3 times 6 is equal to 18. So that means using commutative property, 6 times 3 is equal to 3 times 6. How about if we have this? 3 times blank is equal to 4 times 3. What do you think is the missing number? That's correct, it's 4. Because 3 times 4 is equal to 12, and 4 times 3 is equal to 12. This is because of the commutative property of multiplication. Because even though you interchange the position of the two factors, their product will remain the same. How about if we have this? Long times 8 is equal to 8 times 2. What do you think is the missing number? Good job children, it's 2 because 2 times 8 is equal to 16 while 8 times 2 is equal to 16. This is because of commutative property of multiplication. Again, remember in commutative property of multiplication, even though you interchange the position of the two factors, their product will remain the same. Let's take a look of this illustration. Let's write the multiplication sentence of this illustration. Again, the first factor is the number of groups. How many groups do we have here? That's correct. We have five groups. How about the second factor? How many objects do we have in each group? We have... Very good. We have one strawberry in each group. How about the total number of objects? What is the product? That's correct. We have 5 strawberries in total. So 5 times 1 is equal to 5. This property of multiplication is what we call the identity property. Always remember, any number that you multiplied by 1, the product is the number itself. So how about if we have this? Let's write the multiplication sentence of this illustration. How many groups do we have? That's correct. We have one group. How many objects do we have in each group? Very good. We have eight bananas. So what is the total number of objects? One times eight is equal to eight. Again, this property is what we call the identity property of multiplication. It states that any number that you multiply by 1, the product will be the number itself. Again, children, remember identity property. Any number multiplied by 1 is equal to the number itself. 10 times 1 is equal to 10. So how about if we have this? 7 times blank is equal to 7. What do you think is the missing number? That's correct. It's 1. Because of identity property of multiplication. Because any number that we multiply by 1, the product is the number itself. How about if we have this? Blank times 1 is equal to 10. What is the missing number? Good job! It's 10 because of identity property of multiplication. Let us now look at the trays reserved for cookies. 
suppose that at the moment I did not bake any cookies yet. How many cookies are there in all? For us to find the answer, let us write the multiplication sentence of this illustration. For the first factor, what is the number of groups? That's correct, we have four trays. So for the second factor, how many objects do we have in each group? Very good children, it's zero. Then what is the total number of objects? That's correct, it's zero. So as you can see, 4 times zero is equal to zero. This is what we call the zero property of multiplication. Zero property of multiplication states that any number multiplied by zero is always equal to zero. Like zero times five is equal to zero. How about if we have this? Blank times 9 is equal to 0. What do you think is the missing number? Fantastic! It's 0. Because according to zero property of multiplication, any number that you multiply by 0, the product would be 0. How about if we have this? 8 times 0 is equal to blank. What is the missing number? Good job children, it's zero. Because according to zero property of multiplication, any number that you multiply by zero, the product is zero. Always remember, we have three properties of multiplication, identity property, zero property, and commutative property. For identity property, any number multiplied by 1 is equal to the number itself, just like this. 1 times 10 is equal to 10. For zero property, it states that any number multiplied by 0 is always equal to 0, just like this. 0 times 3 is equal to 0. For commutative property, it states that Changing the order or position of the factors does not affect the product. For example, 2 times 5 is equal to 5 times 2. 